Hey there, welcome back. I know that when you watch my videos, YouTube will feed you commercials after two or three minutes, and a lot of us don't have time to watch a lot of commercials. I'm going to show you how to get through much more of my material. They are 15 to 20 minute long videos, and I'll show you some ways to get all the information without watching the videos. I'd love for you to watch them from beginning to end. For those of you who don't have time to do that, this trick will really help you. And for those of you who want to take a little bit with you after you watch the video, this one will show you how to get more information than just what you can remember. I'm going to show you how to use Notebook LM. Let's jump on into that. Over in Notebook LM, the way you get there is Notebook LM, all one word, dot Google dot com. Use your Google account to sign in, use your credentials. And now that you're in Notebook LM, get on over to YouTube. And from within YouTube and the search bar, just type in Energy Risk Engineering. And from Energy Risk Engineering, hit search. You'll see one of the results will be my face. Go ahead and click on that. And from here, click on Videos. And pick a video that you're interested in. Let's see. How about Generator Risks? And the neat thing is, I hit pause. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to watch the commercial. Just hit Share and then hit copy and then let's go back on over to notebook lm and hit create new all right now we're going to create a notebook we're going to create it out of that youtube video so we click youtube we come up to the paste box and hit your control v to paste it and then hit insert give it a moment here and it's going to digest that entire video transcript next what we want to do is come over to the right side and we're going to click briefing doc all right, and you'll see there's some other things. You can get frequently asked questions out of this. You can get study guides and give it a second and we will get a briefing doc that shows you what's in that video. The key takeaways, talks about generator basics, failure mechanisms, potential damage. So I get into the uh, types of wear, corrosion, erosion, risk management strategies, quotes from the video itself. Now you're not going to get the... Uh, video. You're not going to see the pictures or the images. You need to watch the video for that. But if you build one of these briefing docs, you'll note that uh, it's very uh, helpful at understanding what's in it. Now we'll click study guide and I'll show you that you can get some more information that if you really, if one of my videos ties into something you're learning and you want to get ready for a test or learn it a little bit better, you can build a study guide. And I'll show you the format of that's a little bit different. The study guide talks about the key concepts that are presented. Short answer quiz. You get to go through and practice all of these questions and answers. If you're out there trying to build tests for people, you can make them based on the content that I've already built. And you can make questions and answers and then even get essay questions to discuss. This one's not really a big deal for a timeline. If you had a lot of content that you wanted to analyze a timeline, that's a very helpful shortcut as well. Frequently asked questions. If you want to build a FAQ on power generator risk management, this is a phenomenal way to do that. I could turn every one of these into LinkedIn posts all by themselves. It's all my content and it would go a long way out there on LinkedIn. If you're interested in doing that, please give me some credit if you do. That's just the tip of the iceberg for Notebook LM, and you're going to get a lot out of it. You can do that with any video. It doesn't have to just be mine. You can do it with a, a group of videos. You don't have to just build your FAQ from one video. You can build it from several. So hopefully you get something out of this. If you do distribute my content, please give me some credit for it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.